The month of April in 1865 was a busy month. On the 9th, General Robert E. Lee surrenders to General Grant at Appomattox, Virginia. On the 14th, at Forbes Theater in Washington, around 10.15 p.m., President Lincoln is shot by John Wilkes Booth. The next morning at 7.22, on the 15th, President Lincoln dies. The next week and a half, the nation is preoccupied with President Lincoln's funeral and the nationwide search for John Wilkes Booth. On the 21st, while the nation was still in mourning, the steamboat Sultana leaves New Orleans with an estimated 75 to 100 cabin passengers. The Sultana was considered a modern boat with the latest safety equipment aboard. It carried a crew of 85 and a capacity of 376 people. Before reaching Fixburg, one of the four boilers sprung a leak. Captain Cass Mason expected to get repairs done in Vicksburg. Now in this picture, Union and Confederate officers meet every morning at Camp Fisk just outside of Vicksburg. The Union command was processing ex-Union prisoners released from Confederate prisons such as the Hell Hole at Andersonville. The idea was to transport men by steamboat up the Mississippi and eventually back home. The military was paying good wages to have these men transported. When Captain Mason learned that the proper repairs to the leaky boiler would take three to four days, he ordered minimum repairs of a patch job for one day. He was afraid the other boats from New Orleans could come and reach Vicksburg and take his passengers. It's believed that the captain promised kickbacks to officers in charge of loading them in. The Sultana was loaded six times its capacity. Some estimated as high as 2,400 men, while other steamers left Vicksburg with only a minimum load. Although many of the men were concerned about the boat being so overloaded, when men had been away from home for four years fighting a war and spending time in prison camps with death all around, an overcrowded and even an unsafe boat could not deter them from getting home as fast as they could. On April the 24th, around 9 p.m., the Sultana slowly leaves Vicksburg extremely overloaded and fighting a strong current from a swollen river, making its way north towards Memphis. Two days later on the 26th, the last picture of the Sultana was taken near Helena, Arkansas, just south of Memphis. It shows the overcrowded boat. When the passengers learned that a picture was being taken, they rushed to the starboard side, shifting the weight the captain ordered everyone back to their place. Later that day, the Sultana docks in Memphis. The 26th is also the day that John Wilkes Booth was located and killed. It'll be headlines in the next day's newspapers. Several men disembarked in Memphis in order to check out the bars and see the sights. Fortunately for some, they seen too many sights and they miss getting back on the Sultana that left Memphis around midnight. Seven miles north of Memphis on the 27th of April, 1865, around 2 a.m., the greatest maritime disaster in U.S. history occurred. Three of the four boilers exploded. More lives were lost on the Sultana than the sinking of the Titanic some 47 years later. As many Union soldiers were lost on the Sultana as was lost at the Battle of Shiloh. It's believed that the Sultana was carrying as many as 2,400 passengers and around 1,700 souls were lost. Many were killed by the explosion. Others were drowned in the cold, muddy, swift current of the Mississippi. The explosion could be seen all the way back to Memphis. 
The USS Grossback started immediately up the river towards the disaster. They began picking up victims that managed to drift down the river on anything from the wreckage that would float. For days, boats would leave Memphis going out to search for survivors and bodies. Bodies would wash up on the banks of the Mississippi for weeks after the explosion. 500 people were taken to Memphis hospitals. 200 out of the 500 would later die. Newspaper headlines touted the fact that John Wilkes Booth had been located and killed, while the Sultana disaster was placed on the back pages of American history. <laughs>